Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this week's video. I have a bow constrictor around my neck. The only reason I'm letting her do this is because she's still small. If she was a lot bigger, she wouldn't be around my neck like this, but right now she gets to. For right now, it's okay. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. We are certainly doing well. I am very pregnant. I am 33 weeks today, and we are getting to where we're just about on baby watch. Um, I will probably be induced because I have gestational diabetes, and I'll be on medication, but she could very well come before then too, so we're gonna have to wait and see. But anyway, I wanted to kind of give you guys a new update video for the week. We finally got our male corn snake in that we've been waiting on. Dane, I decided to keep his name. I couldn't think of anything else. I mean, I sat there and I thought, what other names can I pick? I just, I couldn't decide on anything else and I just figured I'm just gonna keep the name they gave him. He's an older boy anyway, that's been his name for a while. So we're just gonna keep his name Dane. But he's the proven male Tessera. He's really pretty. He's het for a lot of different genes. So we are very excited and glad to have him. This is Harley here. I'm pretty sure you've seen her plenty of times. If you haven't seen her, then I don't think you've been watching our videos very much because I usually get her out. She's my favorite boa constrictor we have. So. <laughs> But this is Harley. She's our Hypo Harlequin Boa Constrictor. Trying to go everywhere. But I was just going to give you guys an update and um, talk a little bit about him, the condition that he's in. I'm just going to hold her like this. That was really weird. She loves my face too. She really loves my face. But anyway, these are all the tanks down here. I don't know if I talk enough about the tanks down here. I know down here I've mentioned before is our boa constrictors, four of them. They're all young. And then our Kenyan sand boa right here in the tank gallon. And then we also have the two, the super dwarf and the dwarf free tick. We're doing a huge enclosure clean out soon. So all of these tanks will look a lot better. So we're very excited to get around to that. Just clean everybody out, get everybody fresh and ready to go for a little while. And we're also gonna do that upstairs. And I'll kind of talk a little bit more about our breeding plans when it comes to the corn snakes since there's some stuff I need to tell you about the male. We can't, uh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit to be able to pair the corn snakes because of what's kind of going on with him. But, um, Everything's gonna work out. We're still super excited. You know, we paired the ball pythons last week and I'm gonna talk about a little bit about that project some more and tell you about sort of how often we're planning to pair them, what we're hoping for with that. And uh, we'll get to it. So this is where we have Dane currently. Um, if you saw my Instagram post, you know that I got him this morning, finally, it took two weeks of delay as far as shipping because of the weather up north. The weather conditions needed to be better for him to get to us, but now he's here. When I got him, he had used the bathroom in his bag. I don't know at what point he did that, but he had been sitting in it for however long inside of his snake bag in the package, and he had the sniffles when I got him out. So we are not sure if he has an RI. We'll have to treat him for that just in case. We've had to do that with one of our other snakes before and it cleared it up. So we're gonna be doing that with him. I wasn't sure if maybe the sniffles was coming from him possibly sitting in urine in his snake bag for a little while or if it could be an RI. So we're just gonna do the treatment anyway to make sure that he's okay. And he's down here quarantining in a separate room so we're gonna have to wait until we can treat him and make sure he's all better and quarantine him to make sure he doesn't have anything else wrong with him before he can go upstairs and be in with the other snakes and finally be able to pair with our female, which you saw us talk about her last time. She's the one that we got first. They're both proven breeders. He's the male I was talking about that carries all of those uh, 
recessive traits. So we're very excited, but we have to get him better first. But I wanted to kind of show you him right quick. And uh, he's just kind of hanging out in here. He looks really, really good. He's a big boy and he's a beautiful bright orange tessera. And then he's het for a lot of different traits. I'm gonna show you. But I think he's getting a little bit angry at the light. So I'm gonna put him back. But um, that's him. I wanted to kind of show him to you. I'm probably gonna find him a bigger tub today because I think he's a little bit long for this tub. Rosalie's completely fine for this tub upstairs, the one that she's got, because she's a little bit smaller than him, but I think I'm gonna find him a bigger one because I just want him to have enough room. I know he's down here quarantining right now, but I do still want him to have plenty of room. And so hopefully we can get him better and we can end up moving him upstairs and eventually be able to pair him with our female. Here is Pumpkin, looking really good, almost a year old. She's so incredibly pretty and orange, and she got those, she's got those awesome blue bars back there. She's getting to be a little chunk, but I love her. She loves to eat. Just gotta watch her, you know. And then we have Nessie here. Got a little raspberry smudged over there. She's doing really good still. She still, you know, sometimes needs help a little bit getting around since she's older. But she still can get around her tank on her own. Uh, we just have to kind of pay attention to her and make sure she doesn't fall or anything like that. But she's doing really, really well. Celian's back in his tub. He's the male that we paired with Zahara in that last video. He's in shed right now. He didn't eat this week. But he's also in shed, which is a normal thing for him. Sometimes males also go off the food during the breeding season. So it could be a combination of him going into the shed and the breeding season, but hopefully he'll eat next week. But that is him. He is getting ready to shed again. Here's Priya. You know, this was the first female we tried to pair with Leo, and they had locked three times throughout November through January, actually October through January. Well, I skipped a month, I think. Yeah, I did skip a month. So it was October, November, and January. But she's doing her little donut thing again. She was soaking a lot in her bowl. But she's always been a really big girl, so it's always very hard to tell with her whether it looks like she's building any follicles or just being a big donut. But she's just kind of hanging out. She's been in a bad mood lately. Several times I've come in here to spot clean and whatnot. She's hissed at me because she just like doesn't want me in here. So, she's definitely got an attitude right now, but we don't know, you know, female ball pythons, they can retain sperm for a long time, so I mean, it wasn't that long ago that they paired three different times, so you never know, we could still get some eggs from her later, but, you know, we haven't seen any definite signs of anything yet, so we're just going to keep an eye on her. We're not pairing them anymore because Leo has been off of food. And he's lost a little bit of weight. She's still off of food too. She doesn't want to eat either. So because he's lost some weight, we're going to focus on getting him back on food again and getting, you know, getting him just back up to weight again. And, you know, we might pair them again in the future, but for now, we're just going to kind of leave that project alone. And here's Zahara being a cute little yellow donut. This is the female that was in the last video that paired with Sulian, who I just showed you is in shed currently. So, um, this girl, you know, I got her as a sub-adult, like I said in the last video, and I grew her up the rest of the way. She's over 1,500 grams now. She looks amazing. And, um, we're definitely hopeful that we're going to get some eggs out of these guys. Our current plan is to pair them the first Wednesday of every month because Wednesdays are basically the two-day mark after our snakes eat because all of our snakes eat on Sundays. And so, after feeding them on Sundays, when we get to Wednesday, the first Wednesday of every month, is when we're going to pair them and we're going to hope that that's enough to be able to get some eggs out of them and to see an ovulation and everything from her. Um, so, there are people that pair more often than that. There are people that pair every week. There are people that pair every two weeks, every three weeks. But we're just going to try one month. We're going to try it for three or four months in a row, and we're going to see where that gets us. 
If we feel like we need to pair more often, we will, but our current plan is just to pair once a month. They locked for two entire days. And so that's what I mean when I say you can leave the mail in here for under three days. Sometimes they will lock for a long time and you don't want to try to do anything to separate them. You want to leave them alone because the mail can severely damage one or both of his hemipenes if you try to separate them or you startled them and they pulled away from each other too quickly. So you want to leave them alone. You want to let them decide when they're going to unlock. But that's her and we're so excited because they're both 100% heck clown and we hope it proves out so we can get started on our clown projects. But anyway, you guys, that's just a little update about what's going on. Obviously, the corn snake pairing is gonna have to wait a little bit because of the situation, but we're still working on the ball python stuff, so that's exciting. And eventually, we will have the ball python project thing going and the corn snake thing going at the same time. So stay tuned for that. We really, really hope to get some eggs this season. It would be really, really awesome in our first time ever having any babies. So stay tuned and keep following us for more information on our journey. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our Instagram. That's where we post the most daily content and the most updates. Our name is at magic underscore city underscore morse. See you guys later.